racing cars of the future could look like this. Instead of someone behind the wheel, the robocar has light and sound detecting sensors, artificial intelligence cameras and a global satellite navigation system. There's no human in there, so it needs eyes, ears. And the big ones are the five lidars. Um, and what's important, they have to overlap in their view, view angles. There cannot be any blind spots. Um, so this is very particular how they are placed, which is stylistically rather challenging. They feed data into an open computing platform capable of 24 trillion artificial intelligence operations per second. The electric carbon fiber car is capable of exceeding speeds of 320 kilometers per hour, with its curves contributing to that. They are scary, they are fast, they are powerful. There is so much air pushing through here when this moves at speeds. We need every little part to do aerodynamic work. RoboRace, the company behind the car, provides the hardware to developers so their AI software can compete on the racetrack. The algorithms driving the RoboCar could be useful off the racetrack too. You need to be not only very fast, but you also need to be very uh, kind of smart. So you need to avoid collisions. And all the algorithms which will be created here for collision avoidance in extreme conditions will be used in the road cars. RoboRace has already showcased development cars on the Buenos Aires Formula E circuit. Next, the team aims to have up to 10 driverless cars racing together alongside the Formula E races. The RoboCar was launched at this week's Mobile World Congress in Barcelona.